haven't touched your food. Don't want to fill up. That would not be possible. I've precisely designed the portions to account for that. The portion size of nothing? <laughs> What's up everybody, my name is Nick. If you're new here, welcome to the party. If you are not new here, welcome back to the party. Today's video serves two purposes. Number one, this is a movie that I've wanted to see ever since I first watched the trailer. And number two, this is also a special Patreon request. So thanks, David. <laughs> So today we are getting into 2022's The Menu, starring the walking beautiful alien goddess that is Anya Taylor-Joy. I did watch the trailer for this movie. I don't even actually know what movie this trailer was attached to, because I saw the, the trailer for this in theaters. And for the longest time, I mean, not longest time, it's not like it's been years or something, but I was convinced that this movie was like the same thing as The Invitation. I don't really remember much of the trailer, to be completely honest, but I remember it has something to do with food Food, and it's like people going to a, an island, a remote location or something like that to eat the food. Oh my God, I'm so hungry. But yeah, I kept getting this confused with the invitation. I thought the invitation was this. I thought this was the, I don't know. Now, given this movie is about food, I'm hoping that it, this is, <laughs> that it's not about cannibalism because y'all, I have had enough of cannibalism, but we shall see. Hopefully nobody's getting eaten in this movie. And if people are getting eaten, hopefully it's the good kind. Now, before we get into this video, one thing that I do ask is if you would be so kind to like, like, comment, subscribe, and hit the notification button so that you're alerted for whenever I upload a new video. If you're interested in checking out what I'm doing outside of YouTube, you can catch up with me on Instagram, you can catch up with me on Twitter, and you can also check out my Patreon. You'll get access to an exclusive catalog of full-length reactions that are specific to Patreon only. So, like, I do a lot of TV over there, you guys. I do a lot of TV. I do a lot of more obscure films. I, I do all the things over there. So, you should check that out because you know, there's polls and there's audio commentaries. There's it's lit fam. But now that we got all of that out of the way and the fact that my stomach is like eating my back right now, I'm so hungry. We might as well watch this movie about food, which is only gonna make it worse. So let's get into the menu. I <laughs> think I didn't hear the sound at first and then I did. Or a bandwagon, y'all. Please don't smoke, it'll kill your palate. Then my palate will die happy. Maybe you should be more worried about your lungs versus your palate. You are too beautiful. Don't, 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 don't do it. Is that gonna fit everyone? Easily. 12 customers total. 12.50 a head. You're fucking kidding, right? What are we eating a Rolex? <laughs> they paid $1,250 to go to a place to eat food? Why? Fuck. Who is that? Is he evil? Oh uh, my god, check it out. Hey, aren't you supposed to be running interference for me? Make sure people don't bother me. Is he playing John Leguizamo though? <laughs> like, is he playing himself? <laughs> oh my god. It's laughable. <laughs> it's actually fucking laughably good. Laughable? That's not a word that I would use to describe something that I enjoyed. <laughs> laughable, like, would be a word that I would use to describe my attempts at dating, but not about food. Damien Garcia. Mr. Diaz. Mr. Diaz. Did you get my real Welcome. name? Of course I gave you a real what name. What about if you get paparazzi? It's a pleasure to have paparazzi you on an island. <laughs> okay, so he's not playing himself. Good to know. It's not Miss West. She has a change of plans, so Miss Westervelt can dismiss. I'm Marco. Hi. Nice to meet you. <clears throat> so there was another person that was supposed to be coming before her. So she's like not supposed to be there. Mm -hmm. I see where this is going. Please do not touch our proteins. The bacteria would introduce itself to the consumer's bloodstream and spread into their spinal membranes, after which point he or she would become incapacitated and shortly thereafter expire. I said, damn, bitch. <laughs> That was a lot. This is where we live. You, wait, you actually live here, all of you? All of us. Wait, wait, wait. So they all live on this island and they live in this room that's just like uh, basic like bunks, like like you were in the military. And they're, hold on a second, because they're charging twelve fifty a head for people to come to this island. But the people that work on this island live in what appears to be like a, a doomsday shelter. Here we are family. Each day starts at six with five hours of prep work. We harvest, we ferment, we slaughter, we marinate. This is sounding like a cult. We mustn't disturb the Lord High Emperor of Sustenance. Yeah, all right. All the goats. I love goats. Mm. 
right. Did you all see that door? They clearly have money. Got them living in squalor and shit. You know, a Paco Jet can produce a powderized uh, snow-like texture. Cool. You really know your stuff, Mr. Ledford. You know my name? Sus. That's weird. And, and Chef, is he around here somewhere? I'd love Why to talk with Why don't you take him. your seat? We're about to serve. See, this could not be me because already between him and the hostess lady, they're fucking rude. And they're like rude and they're weird. So if they're not gonna like sell me into like human trafficking, they're gonna fucking eat me. No, thank you. Is he looking at me? No, Voldemort's looking at her, <laughs> but as he should, cause the bitch is stunning. We have a compressed and pickled cucumber melon, milk snow. And charred lace. Thanks. Enjoy. This is like watching like one of those food shows on Netflix. Oh my god. What the fuck? Excuse, Excuse me. me. Excuse me. Excuse me. Yeah, that no, no. These people are fucking weird. Cult. <laughs> no ma'am. I have to beg of you one thing. Do not eat. Taste. Savor. Consider every morsel that you place inside your mouth. See, this couldn't be me because I eat my food way too quickly to the point where like people are like, did you even taste that? Stop inhaling your food. You're not a fucking Hoover vacuum. Like, chew your food. So I would not survive here. On your plate, the plants from around the island placed on rocks from the shore covered in barely frozen filtered seawater. Frozen seawater? Ugh. I find it all very moving. It's all so beautiful. I just... It's almost too beautiful to eat. <laughs> she told you to stop taking pictures. Like, she's gonna shove that phone up your ass. You need to s stop. The neediness to plating, you know? I mean, it's been too easy to fuck, but the flavors are there. It's very clean. This one reminds me, there was this show on Netflix, and I think it was, like, called, like, Hot or Not. No, I don't remember. This woman on the show used to, uh, whenever she, like, liked someone's look, she would be like, Ding dong! Ding dong! Ding dong! That's her, basically. Breadless bread plate. I thought I might have misheard. What's crazy is like, there's actually people that would pay money for this shit to get a bread plate that doesn't have any bread on it. Oh yes. <laughs> this is next. How are you not gonna swallow? He's not getting, not gonna serve bread at a restaurant known for their bread. That's sweet. Yeah, I am her. I am her and she is me because what the f I mean, it's a little outrageous, isn't it? Yes. Outrageous is a word that one could use to describe this. Wait, you, you like this? Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. He's basically insulting you. It's a concept. I know what a concept is, Tyler. Trust me, he's telling a story. Oh, no. Oh, no. Is he in on it? Is, is, uh, what, what, I don't know this man's name. I forget the, the actress. Uh, Beast from X-Men. Is Beast in on it? I think he's in on it. Whatever it is. It's kind of like a cult, but it's not. Miss Bloom, mm -hmm. here is another broken emulsion. Courtesy of Chef Slowick. Like, what is an emulsion? I don't even know what that is. Like, I'm not, I'm not the best with food. I will fully admit that. I am not the best with food to the point that I had never eaten a Reuben and I had never eaten carrot cake up until I was like 29 years old. I didn't know what those things were. I lived a very sheltered childhood when it came to food. So emulsion, I don't, mm, I, that, that could be a Pokemon for all I fucking know. You know who we are, right? Yes. Flip us a little bread. We won't tell a soul, lady. Yeah, I promise, okay? Yeah. Are these like influencer people? Y'all, y'all shouldn't f with her. You will eat less than you desire and more than you deserve. Yeah, see, that bitch is crazy. I'll tell you that right now. I haven't touched your food. I want to fill up. That would not be possible. I've precisely designed the portions to account for that. The portion size of nothing? <laughs> and here we go. I hope you're hungry for nothing. Well, thank you for your concern, but I am perfectly capable of deciding when I eat and what. Work, bitch. Thank you. But you gotta be careful. That motherfucker will avada kedavra your ass or whatever the hell that is. Ooh, she's staring again. Where do we know her? We don't. She really does look like Claire. Why do you keep saying that? She doesn't. Is Claire their daughter? Because uh, there's something going on with, with this couple and then Anya Taylor-Joy, because they keep giving each other like, Eyes, if you know, I don't know what's going on there. When I was growing up, Tuesday was Taco Tuesday. Hell yeah. Or taco every day if you live in this household. <laughs> when I was seven years old, my father came home quite drunk. My mother grew angry. He proceeded to wrap a telephone cord around her neck and pull it tight. What the f 
What does trauma really look like? I finally had to stab him in the thigh with kitchen scissors. This is what trauma looks like. And like, aside from two people in the room, nobody else thinks this is fucking weird. Like, well, this is not, what? Richard, what are these? Taco things. No, the pictures, they're, they're all of us. That's weird. Tyler, is that you? They're on me from tonight taking fucking photos. Damn, from tonight, see, I told y'all, this idiot with the fucking photos. When they tell you not to take photos, don't take the photos. Y'all need to, is there another fairy off of this island? Y'all need to dip. Um, guys, what the fuck? Are these? Is that his bank statement on the fucking tortilla? That's a that's a sentence that I never thought I would ever say. These are tortillas, which contain Echo Bright's tax records and other documents showing how your company has created invoices with fake charges. We got you. We got you. This is you. Who is that woman? Well, how the hell should I know? It's fake. Imagine finding out that your husband is having an affair from an image that has been laser printed on a tortilla. Who? What? What is going on? Okay, I have to make this right. I'll tell you how you make it right. You send the shit back. It's Excuse hey, me, sir. Margaret. Hi. Margaret. Did you just fucking snap at me? I would send up. I would send the, everything. The, the plate, the table itself, the chairs. I don't give a shit. Right now, you cannot speak to me that way. Actually, I can because ding dong, I'm the one who's paying. So maybe shut up and eat. Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! He better not make it past the second act of this movie. Miss Mills, how can I assist you? Just looking for the ladies' room. Right this way. What's behind that silver door? Probably death. It's probably like a gateway to hell. But in brighter news, Miss Anya's outfit that she's got on, this like lavender lilac number mm, with the red hair. Mm. Whoever you are, thank you. Where is he going? What, a Victoria's Secret fashion show? Like what the f I'd like to know specifically what it was about the last course that you did not enjoy. You've barely eaten the food. Why? Because you guys are fucking weird. <laughs> like, what's weird? what's confusing about this? Who are you? I am Margo. You shouldn't be here tonight. Please get the fuck out of my way. Ooh. Ooh, this is, I'm tense. <laughs> tense is the word that I would use. <laughs> Why are they, oh no. I feel like this is the point where the movie's about to take a turn. What the, What are they about to do on the floor? About, like murder somebody live? Well, that is correct. Jeremy created the next dish. It's called The Mess. Jeremy is talented. Jeremy looks like a serial killer. But he's not great. He'll never be great. He aspires to greatness, but he'll never achieve it. So they just put down this like sheet or, or plastic wrap on the floor and they're referring to it as the mess. Listen, if a man puts down plastic sheeting on the floor, you're either about to get pissed on or you're about to get murdered. And to be completely honest with you, I'm not really interested in either one of those options. Do you like this life, this life that you dreamed about? No, chef. Mm -hmm. Is he about to kill him? Is he gonna kill the chef and they're gonna eat the chef? That was the kiss of death, bitch. Ladies and gentlemen, your fourth course, sous chef Jeremy's The Mess. No, did you see the plastic sheeting in the- I told y'all, I told y'all. You see this, this is rich people nonsense shit. This is, no. If you just stick to the damn dollar menu at McDonald's, you don't have to worry about this shit. The worst thing you gotta worry about is like a pubic hair in the food. Like this, no. What the fuck? Is this real? No, 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 this, this is just theater. How are they still sitting at the chair? Like I would have violently thrown myself through the window to get the fuck out of here. Tyler, what the hell is going on? And here we have a Cabernet Franc. It has no added sulfite, a bit of barnyard funk. A bit of barnyard funk? Why would that be something you would want to use to ent like to entice somebody to drink it? Ew, barnyard funk means shit. Manure, ew. Mr. Liebrecht, please hold still. Do y'all dumbasses still think that this is fake? <laughs> And then this crazy motherfucker is just sitting here devouring it like it's his last meal. Like he's on. I'm so tired, yeah. I would. I'm so tired. I'm really tired. The acting is astonishing. What the fuck are you talking about? <laughs> Chef Slowick would like to see you in the kitchen. 
Please don't. Please don't. No, I want her to be the final girl. I don't want her to end up as a f***ing dessert. Ugh. This menu, this guest list, this entire evening has been painstakingly planned, and you are not a part of that plan. In order to proceed, I have to know where to seat you. You can seat me on the f***ing boat out of here. That's where you can seat me. On a plane. Y'all can put me in the f***ing cargo hold. I don't care, but I don't want to stay here. Plating in five. Yes, sir! I love you all. We love you too, chef! Nah, see, this is like if Hannibal Lecter f***ing ran a cult. Don't like that. Oh, I mean, that was extra, but that looked beautiful. I'll give it that. The food sounds terrible, but the presentation is on point. There's a saying, sometimes all you need is a good cup of tea. I learned that growing up in Bratislava. That's right. What the fuck is this happening, man? Think of yourselves as ingredients in a degustation concept. <laughs> huh? Speak, I don't know what you're saying. How many times have you eaten here in the last five years? Eleven times. Tell me one dish you ate the last time you were here. Well, how the fuck is he supposed to know what dish he ate out of the last 11 times that he was there when one of the dishes that you brought out was literally bread with no bread? Like the dish? He should just say a dish because y'all aren't even bringing actual food. And I've been fooled in trying to satisfy people who can never be satisfied, starting with her. So you're saying this is all because he has mommy issues growing up that he's decided to turn to cannibalism and murder? I would have to say that Doug Verrick owns me, except now things are a little more complicated and I own Doug Verrick. What does that mean? Is that Doug Verrick or whatever his name, the boss that's outside strung up like a Victoria's Secret angel? He would even request substitutions. There are no substitutions at all time. Calm down. Calm down. No, no. Just stick with Taco Bell. This is too much. It's fucking insane. I said, listen. What is... What was that about? What is that? Why did he tell him to listen? Did he like, get eaten by piranhas or something? That silence means I'm free. Oh. I'm sure that you're quite brilliant. You're not sure I'm brilliant, so don't say it. I guess I'm gonna have to make your decision for you. No, she needs to have her like single white female Jennifer Jason Lee moment. And she needs to take off her heel and bop him right in the eyeball with it. Oh, I know a fellow service industry worker when I see one. Mr. Lee Brand, how do you know him? Is that the old guy that they cut the finger off? He paid for an experience. He told me to agree with everything he said and continue eye contact while he jerked off. Mm -hmm. Wait a minute. Wait, they're talking about the older guy? Is she a sex worker? He told me to tell him that he was a good man and that I was his daughter and that he loved me and I loved him. Awesome. And his daughter? Ugh. What the f What? What the f We're dead. It's okay. No, we're gonna die today. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Probably. <laughs> Three years ago, Julian Sloag tried to fuck me. I refused his advances. He kept me in his kitchen and refused to speak directly to me for eight months. What? Wait, is she talking about Voldemort? That's disgusting. <laughs> oh. What the f Where did she just stab him? Did she just stab him in the dick? Oh, oh, ugh. well, that's better. The thigh is better. We now offer you the chance to escape. You'll be given a 45 second head start. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I remember this part from the trailer. This fool, you know he's about to be the first to get got. Y'all, Anya Taylor-Joy's outfit though, I'm gonna be, like it's serving, it is, the outfit is serving. She's giving me like Alice from the first Resident Evil movie with like, that red dress and then the, the boots, ooh. Now let's just talk about that. Man's folly, dungness crab, I don't know what that means. Fermented yogurt whey, dried sea lettuce, umebashi kelp. That is disgusting looking. That. <laughs> Why? 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 I would rather eat shit <laughs> than eat whatever that is. Mm. It's mm. so good. Yes, it's really good. Mm -hmm. You know, it's the emoji for me. The emoji. <laughs> that would be the emoji. It's so good. Don't fucking go right next to me, bro. You're right next to me. 
Look, people like getting like hunting humans. This is uh, this reminds me of a movie called Surviving the Game from I don't know the 90s or early 2000s with uh, I think Ice T is in it, but it's basically like that or kind of like that movie The Hunt, which was a good movie. I could, I could. We we would just have to talk about the the you know the <laughs> the, the dying thing. Oh, everyone dying was my pitch actually. Well, that makes sense coming from somebody with those bangs. It was bad for her. It was really bad for her. <laughs> A special bite for the last guest to be caught. They served it in a bird's nest? But why? I've been stealing money from you. I know. I wrote a negative recommendation to Sony. I know you CC'd me on it. <laughs> they are f***ed up beyond, beyond repair. <laughs> what the hell? Tell me why you're here. I wanted to experience your food, chef. And what were you told? Not to use his phone and take pictures. And that everyone would die. Everyone would die. <laughs> Why is she looking at him like this is brand new information? Do you see the way that he was acting? He clearly knew about this. You brought Margo. Hired her knowing she'd die. Did you get that all to him? Yeah, that's right. That's right. That's right. Although I'm sure she had utensils in front of her. She should have forked him right in the neck. You knew what the yeah. bergamot was. <laughs> I, I could taste think. it. <laughs> yeah, I know what you identified it. Oh no, look at them all walking over. Oh no, they're gonna do, well, I mean, I don't care about him, but I can only imagine what the f they're about to do to him. You look wonderful. Doesn't he look wonderful, Margo? Doesn't he look good? Yes, sir! He's a dead man. The last person that was standing there wearing that apron is dead. Cook. Go on now. What do you need? We have everything. Please don't be frightened. To the I don't know so, so he's got to cook to save his own life. I would be. F I would be. F I would, like, do y'all have some ramen or some mac and cheese? I'm. I can make spaghetti. <laughs> oh yeah, I think it's done, chef. You think it's done? You sure? Mm-hmm. Tiger's bullshit. <laughs> Dessert requires a large barrel. My negligent colleague, Elsa, forgot to assign someone to bring it. Hello, darkness, my old friend. Damn, damn. She's a dead woman, probably. It was all a lie. Guys, it was all a lie. She lied. Margo is now one of us, Elsa. Right, Margo? Yes. Yes what? Yes. Yes, chef. Chef. There you go. There. You go. Look, if you gotta join them for a while until you can figure out how to get the f*** out of here, you need to do what you need to do. Damn. Look, she she's like, whatever. <laughs> Karma keeps receipts, bitch. Well, I really, I, I just wanted to say because um, if, 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 if. Do you want to know why you're being punished? I would like to know. I mean, 99% of the people in this room are awful and they deserve it, but you know, I would like to know the truth. I saw the film calling Dr. Sunshine. I did not enjoy it. The memory of your face in that film haunts me. <laughs> He's a petty bitch. I didn't like you in that movie, so I'm gonna kill you. Patty, patty, patty. Nah, see, I feel like that was planted there. Like, they would know that you're gonna do this. Well, maybe not, because her very presence seems to have shocked everybody there, so maybe she is onto something. Not this man having all this fucking money and he is sleeping on a twin size mattress. It makes no damn sense. People with money are weird. But that's like the same room that was down or in the other building, right? No one is allowed inside chef's house. Do you think you're special? She is, look at her. <laughs> I'm obsessed. She's flawless. You will not replace me. Trust me, I have no- <gasps> Ooh, nah, see, nah, oh no, oh no. No, ooh, ooh, oh god, oh god. Well, <laughs> I don't even know what that was, but- He didn't tell me about the barrel. <laughs> Well, she's dead. Well, she said she, he didn't tell me about the barrel. I didn't forget. Her death was already basically foretold, is what I'm assuming. He was looking for somebody to replace her and is gonna pick Anya Taylor Joy. I see what's going on here. Hamburger Howie's employee of the month. Hamburger Howie's. Hello, salty goodness. Is that really him? <laughs> Cause you know, like normally in movies, they always like, instead of just asking the actors for photos of themselves when they were younger, they like Photoshop them, like, but like badly, which is weird. Cause you could be watching something that's, you know, costs hundreds of millions of dollars to make, but then they really badly Photoshop images. I, I, that looked real to me. You told them it was my birthday? It seemed funny about three hours ago. 
<laughs> Why? Oh God. <laughs> I am a monster and a whore, but tonight everything I'm doing is pure. A whore? Where did that come from? As Dr. King said, we know through painful experience that freedom is never voluntarily given by the oppressor. Girl, please stop talking. Please stop talking right now. Not the f***ing lead serial killer quoting Martin Luther King. <laughs> like, like, what? It, what? All right. I see you found our radio. Mm, no, see, I feel like he knew that she was going to do that. I feel like she she doesn't realize that she's like doing exactly what he is anticipating that she's going to do. Ask yourselves this entire evening, why didn't you all try harder to fight back to get out of here? Yeah, he does make a good point. The fact that they all have utensils and nobody was trying to stab any, any of these cooks or anything to get out of here seems odd to me. Good evening, officer. I got a report of disturbance. What kind of a disturbance? A violent one. Did anybody here call in a distress over the shortwave tonight? Yeah, because he, here's the thing, here's the thing. So if she called for help on the radio, I'm assuming that she would have said what was going on. Like, that doesn't make sense that she would not have said. If you were calling the police because you were in this situation, would you be like, oh, I need the police, there's a disturbance? No, like, you would tell them what was going on. Why would he have shown up alone? Like, why would it just be one single person from the Coast Guard? No, no, no. I think that maybe the Coast Guard is in on it. It's all a big act. People are lurking. They're just waiting to get you. <laughs> I don't mean to scare you, but they are. My wife and I, we love, oh, what's it called? The one? where uh, you play the surgeon. Call him Dr. Sunshine. Yeah. Yeah, see? And then he quotes that movie. No, he's in on it. Oh, nope. He's a dead man. That's what he is. On your knees with your hands over your head. Nah. Yeah. No. What the f***? But aha! I told you he was in on it. I told you. I've been aware of the killer since birth. What's she thinking about? She looks like the, the wheels are turning. I don't like your food and I would like to send it back. She is playing with fire. <laughs> Hell fire. Every dish you've served tonight has been some intellectual exercise rather than something you want to sit and enjoy. Damn, she, uh, she's serving right now. Whatever she's, I don't know what she's doing. I don't know where she's going with this, but yes. Your single purpose on this earth is to serve people food that they might actually like and you have failed. Damn, you know he is gagged right now. I'm still fucking hungry. You're still hungry? Well, how the fuck was she supposed to fill up on her plate of bread with no bread on it? Are you stupid or something? What are you hungry for? What do you have? Everything. Y'all got chicken nuggets? Ooh. Not some fancy deconstructed avant bullshit, a real cheeseburger. Is this because she saw the picture of him flipping burgers back in the day? American cheese. How much will that set me back? Nine ninety five. That come with fries? <laughs> right, that, uh, 9 dollars for a cheeseburger? It better f***ing come with fries. <laughs> oh, that looks so good. Oh, that looks so good. Oh my God, I'm so hungry. That looks so good. What does she do? Like, is her master plan to make him rediscover the joys of cooking? <laughs> Or is, is, is she just hungry and she wants to have a cheeseburger before she dies? I respect it. Oh, fuck, that looks good. Oh, I'm so hungry. <laughs> I'm so hungry. Now that is a cheeseburger. The flavor. Unfortunately, I think my eyes were a little bigger than my stomach. Can I get the rest to go? What does that mean? <laughs> Did she figure out how to get the fuck out of there? <laughs> what? We stand an intelligent queen. One cheeseburger to go. Thank you for dining at Hawthorne. Damn, she didn't even leave a tip. Maybe tip was included. Hmm? <laughs> Not the mom <laughs> in the background. Passed out from too much wine. <laughs> Look at her. I... I'm gonna miss you, girl! We love it. We love to see it. She got out. Well, she ain't off the island yet, so. Is it weird that I want to know how much he's charging them <laughs> for this food? <laughs> food. You represent the ruin of my art and my life. Now you get to be a part of it. What? Oh, God. What are they doing now? Oh, that's gorgeous though. That is gorgeous. A plus for presentation. <laughs> I'll give him that. The s'more. What transforms this fucking monstrosity is fire. He's gonna burn them all alive? That's dark sided. Oof. That is not a way to go. <laughs> that is not a way that I would wanna go. Come on. 
Come on, drive the boat. Do you know how to drive a boat? I mean, it doesn't really matter as long as you get the, the shit to go forward. <laughs> Oh my god, self-immolation? He is cracked, cracked beyond repair. What what happened? It stopped working. Or did she stop? Did she run out of gas? What's what's going on? I mean, I ain't mad at her though. I mean I would continue driving the boat, but I would 100 percent be eating the cheeseburger while I was doing it. I don't know what that last look meant, but Anya Taylor-Joy must be the first hooker in horror movie history to not end up on the chopping block. <laughs> All right, everybody, so that completes the menu and I'm still hungry. I'm still hungry, but I will say this, I was more than satiated with that movie. That was really, really fun. Did not end how I expected it to end. Although, I, I mean, I feel like maybe I didn't, I don't even know how I expected the movie to end. I was not anticipating him lighting himself on fire. I did sort of feel like he was going to follow through and everybody there was going to die except her, but I didn't know whether or not she was going to get away or if she was going to end up working on the island. No, this was, this was really, really good. Voldemort played, like, his character was fucking unhinged. Now, I, like, I have not seen him a lot, like, I haven't seen a lot of his work but I mean I've seen him in Harry Potter but like he was he, he was creeping me out he was creeping me out and I'm glad that they took out Beast because he was it, clap if you've ever wanted to kill somebody he was getting on my he was getting on my nerves. Anya Taylor-Joy, putting aside the you know surface level stuff about how beautiful she is like she's just Ugh, like she she just has like this energy and she's just so captivating to look at. And she was just a joy to watch in this movie. And you know, the, here's, the, it's funny when you're watching a movie called The Menu and it's all about food, it's ironic that the only thing shown in this movie that I would have any desire to eat was that damn cheeseburger. That cheeseburger looked real good, like real good. And I'm surprised that she didn't say like, I ordered a cheeseburger, not a double cheeseburger. I don't know, this was a lot of fun. Let me know what you guys thought about this down in the comments and I will see you next week.